Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we are in the 14th video of the series on social information networks that I have started. So social information networks is an important course in the computer science and engineering degree and where we have been discussing the most important topics of social information networks for the last few videos and if you haven't yet checked them out do check out the link in description and let's get started with today's video. So today we are going to discuss what clustering is and what clustering coefficient is so clustering coefficient which is also known as transitivity okay clustering coefficient which is also known as transitivity is basically the number of the number of closed triplets of nodes so the transitivity is basically defined for a for a given node so for any given node the number of closed triplets uh, of nodes in the neighborhood in the neighborhood divided by the total number of triplets in the neighborhood so this basically means that if you have a given node the the total number of triplets that are there which are all connected to each other divided by the total number of triplets that are there whether they are connected to each other or not so that is called the transitivity of a given node okay in the neighborhood is called transitivity of its of the node so basically for a given node the number of closed triplets of nodes in the neighborhood divided by the total number of triplets that are there in the neighborhood is the transitivity it's called transitivity of the node. So for a given node, the number of closed triplets of nodes that are there in the neighborhood divided by the total number of triplets that are there in the neighborhood is called its transitivity. Okay. Now, let us look at an example. Okay. So let us say we have v1 v2 v3 and v4 we have four nodes here which are connected this way which are connected like this okay now if we want to calculate the clustering coefficient or the transitivity transitivity of the node v1 that will be equal to so we are calc we are trying to calculate the uh, transitivity of the node v1 okay so how many uh, completely closed triplets are there so v1 v3 v4 this is one completely closed triplet right and this is the only completely closed triplet in which v1 is a part of right so the numerator will be one total number of closed triplets now what are the total number of triplets that are there there is v1 v2 and v4 one plus there is v1 v3 v4 which we already counted for the numerator and there is v1 v2 v3 so this is one so this is basically one by three so the transitivity of v1 in this given graph of the node v1 in this given graph is 1 by 3 because the numerator is the number of closed triplets so there is only one closed triplet which is v1 v3 v4 and divided by the total number of triplets that are there so there are three triplets that are there v2 v1 v3 v3 v1 v4 and v1 
V2, V1, V4. So this is how we calculate the transitivity or the clustering coefficient. Now, what is clustering at all? So we have many clustering algorithms that are there which divide a given huge graph or a given graph into multiple parts or into many parts which are known as clusters now why do we do this we do this because we do this to show that some parts of the graph are much tightly wound or much closer some nodes in a graph are much closer to each other compared to others so let's say we have something like this okay so if we have uh, if we have a graph like this we can visually also see that this part is much closer these three nodes are much closer to each other compared to their uh, closeness with these three nodes and similarly these three nodes are closer to each other compared to the nodes in the first cluster or the first part so these two can be separated out as cluster one and cluster two and these three nodes will have many properties in common these three nodes will have many properties in common so we do this to understand and to study the nodes that are there or the uh, participants that are there in our graph network better so there are many algorithms that help us understand how clustering uh, uh, can be done or how uh, the different ways in which different clusters can be formed there are different algorithms that are used to do this clustering uh, method and we will be discussing a few of these methods in our upcoming videos so stay tuned to that and that's all i had for this video we've discussed clustering coefficient that is transitivity and what clustering and clustering algorithms are you have algorithms like k-means you have agglomerative clustering and you have a lot many methods which we will be discussing in the further videos so that's all I had for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you did get to learn something from this video, do like, share and subscribe. And thank you for watching.